Yo friends and followers and welcome to a new video. My name is Smo, I'm a German graffiti artist and today we want to sketch together. And as I'm recently doing so many black and white sketches because I had the brilliant idea to put original customized sketches in my shop for you out there. Um, I thought it might make sense to record the full process and not only the time lapses for Instagram. So I have time to tell you more about the single decisions and why I put which element where and whatever. Let's start. So someone ordered the name Mia and P3RCE. So I start to sketch yeah. um, the letters really rough P on the piece of paper so that I get a feeling how much space R will I need um, to sketch them. E. Okay, a little bit more to the side. Let's, so let's start here. Mm, I start with the M. I would love to have something like an extra bar here. Pretty rough. We can refine all the details later. I want this even a little bit more up. This and I love to have such an ending to the M. And the M is shorter at the right side. So the M is already done. This looks good. So now let's see that we make it a little bit more complicated. Mm, with the I. Would be cool. Okay, to give the the eye a little bit more. I would love to have the eye like like this, some something like this. It goes down here. Oh, this would be cool if it was connected to the top of the M. And the dot of the I is a star. Oh. Pew, pew. And this is what I love so much about sketching graffiti. Um, it's everything pretty random. You can make the decisions on the run. So over here. This is like a happy accident that the I and the M are um, melting together at this point, but I'm not that happy with the end over here. Maybe we can add such a hard shape to it and it goes even more. This side, I met Mia. Oh, okay, this is cool. This is cool. Yeah. M I and the A. So I would love to have the A more leaning to the left side so that it interacts a little bit 
with the eye over there as well. It always looks better if the ending of a single bar has the same angle like the top. So the end, the bottom of the bar and the top of the bar have the same angle. This always looks better. Yeah. And as these are two different words, I would love to have the the P mm. I think I think this can be even thicker. Like this. So that it's just really bouncing. Ah, let's make it bigger here as well. This makes it even more interesting. I and the A are slicing together over here and they are overlapping at this point. can even lean, lean a little bit more to the side. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, this is fresh. It's and the and the P three R C A. The P three R C E would be funny if the P would start
So we have a double connection between the M and the I and a double connection between the I and the A, but there's only an overlapping between the A and the P so that there is a little bit of a gap so that we, it is one, it is, at the end it will be one graffiti, but there will be a little bit of a gap so that we um, can see that these are two different words, two different names. Yeah, P. So now we need, we need to. more aggressive, like it more. P3. Mm, I'm not that happy with the ending over here, but we will see, we'll just continue and see how it all turns out. So the C, I personally don't like the C that much. So and I got the C over there. <laughs> we need more action over here. There is not enough action. Underneath the, the um, three, there is not enough action. Maybe there can something grow down there from the C. Or, or, because I was not that happy with this bar anyways, we make
Neon purse. 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 So then we can then we can say okay we make this long this is this a little bit longer because this could need some more extra power. Yeah, this is so much better. And the bottom of P could have an extra bar that connects to the M. This would be funny. Yeah, maybe like that. So, and I'm not happy with the R as well. The R is boring like that. We want it to move a little bit more and we need more room at the right side because otherwise I will not have enough room for an extension of the E. So we need to make the R more close to the three. I will like this Looks good, I'm happy. So lean it more, lean it more. Oof. Now we got more room for the C. Mm, this is genius. We can put the C 
over here. And this beautiful sound that you can hear now in the background. <laughs> this is our printer. I don't know. My wife probably printed something very important while I was um, recording. Ah, let's make it like that. Boop, boop, boop. We got enough room. We got enough room. Yay! Okay, little little spoiler alert. We won't have enough room. Um Funny fact, while I was doing the voiceover, my wife started to print again. And I said, can you please stop printing? I don't want this printer noises in the background. But I didn't even notice it while I was sketching. Crazy. When I'm sketching, I'm so in the tunnel, I don't notice anything around me. Yeah, and you can see that I made... A nice symmetry between the extension of the M and uh, the extension of the E, so that we get this nice symmetry. And now I'm struggling with the head of the E. So we use this part as the top part of E. I think this is smart, it looks cool. Cool to have something in here. Ah, oh, the R. The R can extend down here and make make a. What what does the R make? The R has so much room to do something. R has a similar shape like the M over here. So this gives it all this kind of same style. Good, good.
Only this part, this part is still not, um, it's still not perfect. I love that the R, I would love that the R and the E are melting over here. But this means that Mm. It will be a little bit complicated over here. The C goes like this. No. <laughs> it's a little bit complicated. It's a little bit very complicated. This, it is too complicated over here. It's too complicated. I don't like it. So we need to have the C in front. And now you can see smooth thinking, not knowing what to do. Mm, which options do we have? Okay, let's remove a little bit of this mm -hmm. rubber. I want to have this, this area, I want to have it easier. I want to have it easier. It's too complicated like that. Maybe when I... Yes, of course, when I add more to it to make it less complicated. So this is such a good idea. <laughs> now I added a chip and made it even more complicated, but this is something I really like. This is funny. A lid. To add a chip at this point. A lid. But the C. I will not, I will, I will not make it over here like that. And I think I will not make it like that. And then it, now it starts, now it starts to be so much cleaner. Okay, I'm happy. I'm yeah, because happy. too much slicing creates confusion and it was necessary to put the C in front of all the letters so that it is more visible. Because when it's everything slicing over there, there's so much confusion. Now it's so much cleaner. P3 RC. I think this is an E as well, purse. Mia purse. So we got a chip. A chip here. Uh, a lid, this is a lid. We got a lid over there, but we just get one lid. We get some round elements here, round elements there. Mm, but it would be cool to have. So maybe we, we add we add a little crown over here to have something that is spiky. And a crown always loves to have a chip underneath. Both. Yeah. This is kill. Mm. Mm. Then we got the heart, halo heart flying here. I still would say 
that this this is we got so much more room here and some not enough room there can we still clean it up or do i have to rotate the paper and paint it on the back side again <sighs> in general like it but it is we don't got enough space over here me and if i if i if i if i if i okay i will take a new paper messed it up messed it up just a little bit but it has to be a little bit more to the side so Put this one out. I could start. I could start the uh, video right now <laughs> and pretend that I'm a sketching genius and I got all the ideas instantly. But no, I want to be as honest as possible to you. And of course. I always make a lot of mistakes. So we start, we start again with the, with the M, well, the left side, chirp. we do it all a little bit smaller now. And maybe we even got some great other ideas while painting this. Yeah. And I have to say that it was such a great decision that I painted the whole sketch second time, not only because I uh, moved it a little bit more to the left side so that it looked a little bit more squeezed, at the M and the E at the right side had more room for its e extension so that it all flows so much more and does not look so compressed. But all letters, all letters looked better because I painted them a second time and had to had the, the option to, to refine the decisions even a little bit more. And yeah, this is some some sort of my my philosophy not to rush <laughs> doing graffiti without rushing it's no problem to make everything a second time or just to take another day or something um to to paint if if the result looks at the end as amazing as this sketch looks like so happy with it so happy with it yo and um as I can see that I did not talk to you at all during this video for the next uh, two minutes, I can tell you a little bit about what is happening recently in my life. Um, as you noticed, I skipped the weekly upload schedule on the last Saturday and I'm recently, tr yeah, I'm struggling with the weekly upload because I don't have the time for big projects and I, I want to do more big projects and long projects and I don't want to be forced to upload something just because suddenly it's Saturday again and I don't know if I, if I will record more of the tiny things that I do like this video for example um, I do a lot of sketches, do a lot of preparation stuff that I never show. Maybe I will focus more on that to have more videos, to have more more possibilities for the weekly upload. Or I will just stop it because it puts so much pressure on me and I don't, don't like this pressure. And yeah, we will see. I will think about it for some more days and... Um, then I will then I will tell you what my decision is. You always need to adjust. And always when you when you feel like that you're that something puts too much pressure on you, you have to adjust. 
and the weekly upload i don't know i don't know what's the problem if if it's my perfectionism or um Sometimes I think that content like that, that you're seeing right now, that this is not good content. Because it has to be fancy and with a lot of editing and nice music and everything has to be fast. But this is, not, in general, this is not my philosophy. Maybe I will change my content completely to make it all a little bit more slower because my uh, YouTube friend and uh, real life friend Nick inspires me so much with the, with his super slow videos ah, yeah I don't know I don't know where the journey will go but there's something has to change in the next next weeks because I I don't feel the weekly upload that much anymore we will see and now i can see that i will say something in about 10 seconds to make it more extreme this is cool yeah however but there will be a change maybe you will not even notice it or i, I don't know but but there will be definitely a change even got more energy than the other one because I I know that I can record quick videos like the ch the shark or like the 3D um, dinosaur that I painted but the problem is that I I want to focus on the stuff that I really like and I don't want to start making videos just for the clicks you know Mia. Yeah. And then we get so much more room here for the extra element that is growing out of the out of the, <laughs> there is an extra element growing out of the P. This directly underneath the A hole. This does not sound very delicious. No, it doesn't, Smo. Yeah, but I I was I was really really exhausted um, the last in the last days. Um, I think that the trip to Brazil just broke my neck because I came back from Brazil. I had just two days of. Th two and a half days to edit the video from Brazil right afterwards I was flying uh, I was uh, driving to a jam together with Doak and then we recorded so many different projects and uh, then we I did the the Mattel canvas the big one with He-Man and Skeletor and it is and if you always have to to find time for the editing between it and you want to have it all good and have to have to find good music and everything maybe it was just too much in the in the last uh, weeks maybe it's even the the weekly upload schedule is not the problem maybe the amount of different projects is the problem um, because i did so much more stuff that i did not even record i don't know but but i i notice that I have to slow down a little bit and maybe I will make some more of these raw videos in the next time uh, because they are so much easier to edit. If I make a raw video, it is like... I, it is like Making the video is about two times more than the painting time. And when I, when I edit a, a video with music and everything, it is about... Yeah, when I paint... 10 hours it's about 30 hours or something of of more time that i need to finish the project when there is a video included and the, the mattel project for example yep. Purs. i was painting five days or six, I was spending six days, but we had to build the canvas, we had to prepare everything. And in the last week, I was 
I was just cleaning up so much because when I when I stop a fin when I finish a project, I come back home. I just throw the cans in my garage somehow. Sometimes I even don't um, um, make my car empty and all the equipment <laughs> stays in my car. And I just start directly to um, to edit. And the, the chaos is getting bigger and bigger. And I just had to take some time to clean up and everything. And yeah, this is the long story why I skipped the last Saturday and and the long story about something that, that I would that I would change that I would change my content probably. Or do more raw videos or do more challenges. I mean a one hour challenge is pretty easy and pretty quick to record. And you can even do a one hour challenge and make the video on the same day. Maybe I will just have to, to make a big stack of stupid challenges so that I don't get in trouble when I have a long project, but I need to take the time for it as well. But but all in all, it is just recently, it is too much. I, I wanted to start um, the merch. I really want to have merch. I want to have merch for so long. And we want it to finish everything until the end of September and I did not even start and this is all these projects that are in my head and that have to be finished until a specific date and yeah it can't be that being a YouTuber makes it impossible for you to do all the projects that you want to do that you can only do because you're a YouTuber. This is, <laughs> it's complicated. It's complicated, especially with family and so on. And I don't want to complain all the time. Let's focus on uh, the painting. I really love to work with this eraser pen because you can erase at a specific point and it feels more precise 
to me than a regular eraser. You know, the complicated C so problem again. P3RCE. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool. This works so much better. So then I make it like this. So the R is slicing with the C while the most of the outlines of the C are still visible. Now we got enough room for a big E with a big extension at the end to make it real beautiful and nice. Beautiful and nice. So, and now the problem that we created over here because we did not have enough space was that the E and the R were melting together within the C. And now, we don't got this problem anymore because the R and uh, the E can melt together underneath the C. And this is beautiful. Trip, trip. I try to have the same height of the elements like on the left side so that it really looks balanced. So this extension of the M um, is on the same height like the extension of the E on the hor horizontal line. And sometimes when the right side flows better, like the left side, I um, adjust the left side so that it fits better to the right side again. <laughs> We actually even got too much space, but can even go with the extension more to the side. 
Sorry if someone woke up, this was our doorbell. You can stay in bed. My wife is already going to the door. So, And now the beautiful E. Maybe we make an, a different solution. I, I'm not that happy with this this solution. I want I want to have a real. I want to have a better because because this one is already. It's the three is just a mirrored E, and I want to have something like that. can make the C bigger so that I don't have to go that much to the side. To force it that it melts. But these two besides these, each other are too similar. Maybe I will even I will go with the idea that I had before. But then I'm too similar to this one.
So, and now I can put a lid on top of the E to add a little bit more weight. I put a small lid here. Interesting, I will cut this and create a lid here that has an obvious origin. So now we got enough. I think I think I arranged the star over here pretty boring as well. We can make it more interesting with more overlapping. So I want the star to go into the M. idea with the crown was good but I want the crown to lean to, to the right because when you see it here this one okay it was a little bit leaning into this direction and this is leaning to this direction now I changed it and I go went outside so the crown has to go outside as well and when the crown is going outside like like this. The chip will go to the other side. Yeah, this is, has so much more motion. I like it. I already like it so much more. Chip, lit, 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 chip. So let's, let's arrange some chips. The chip that I had at the beginning over here is not necessary anymore. But lids also love to have some chips underneath. Oof. Now the heart fits over here better. And I don't want to do the same like I did 
here. Good. Yeah, this is flowing. It's flowing so much more. Oh, the hair. So then. Ah, I got an idea. This is already enough. Just to make it more interesting at this point, we add some section lines, section lines everywhere. Section line. Section line. I put two section lines here, one there, one there, one there. Choo -choo. Boom. Only the C is missing. Like this. Good. See the chips, chip, chip. We need a chip down here somewhere. Ah, it would be cool to have a chip down here, but this one causes to have some more action here. This, this is better. Uh, then, 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 then. Like this, both. Good. Okay, I would say I'm done. Um, we don't. Now, now we had the chance to balance it a little bit with the block, but as it is extremely balanced, we have the same um, distance from here, like there, it is perfectly centered. It was such a good decision not to try to rescue this one, to make it with a new piece of paper. Perfect, I'm super happy. And I love to have the block downwards, so we will make it down here. And if um, this causes any problems, we still got the background to balance it out. So like this, all the blocks are facing to the vanishing point. And at the end, I will um, leave most of the most of the lines that I do right now of the first lines because I think it's so much more real to keep it a little bit dirty to to show that there's that, that, that this is made by hand that it is not it's not printed and of course the overlapping elements have blocks as well, tiny blocks. Oh, and my wife is printing again. She's always printing the whole day. We spent millions and millions on uh, the ink for a printer. No, just kidding. I don't That's know why she was printing that much that day. Tiny block here. Usually I would really love to rotate the paper 
Um, but I, I stick it with these edges to the table so that it is easier to record. So at the end, please write down a comment how thankful you are that I'm not rotating the paper into every direction the whole time. Why are there always hairs? So, and here, the heart is melting with the extension. This makes it super interesting. Beautiful. 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 Good. Okay. Next step outlines. I do the outlines all with such a fine liner, but I ordered some better fine liners already because if you paint with these, it will stay. The, the artwork that you painted or the sketch when you when you put it in the in a window somewhere and then there is sun shining on it, after 10 years, um, all outlines will be brownish and yellow. While in my opinion, this is something that I like. I like it when the art is aging and when you can see how old it is and it is not all like plastic and um, stays the same over several decades. It has to age and it has to be put in a frame and that you care, care about it. But I ordered um, some some um, Copic fine liners that are waterproof and are um, document proof or however it is called. So that my art will stay in the same condition in the sun for a million of years until some tiny bugs eat the paper, maybe. I do the outlines with the fine liner first um, because if I if one of the outlines gets a little bit crooked or something, then I still got the chance to make the outline thicker at this point to um, to correct it. Um, because I have to admit that I don't have these super smooth hands that can um, make lines like with a ruler. And some of my outlines always get a little bit shaky and a little bit wobbly, and I try to avoid that 
uh, with the fine liner first, and then I make most of the outlines. I make them twice the thickness later, but I always start with the super thin lines um, so that I got all the possibilities to still adjust some shaky lines. I think that I will go with the straight black black block in this artwork without any extra because this is already so loaded with uh, great details and everything. And I think a, a super detailed block will not add anything to it. Oh, it's a message. Okay. It's a cameraman who wants to make a documentary with me tomorrow. I'll answer him real quick. Ja, moin, Christian, du hast es jetzt in mein YouTube-Video geschafft. Ich mache gerade einen Sketch auf Papier. Wenn du möchtest, kannst du das auch schon aufnehmen. Ansonsten äh, treffen wir uns morgen. Es ist alles so geplant. Und ja, dann ähm, sage ich mal, ich schicke dir den Standort und alles gleich, wenn ich hier fertig bin mit Aufnehmen. Yo, and by the way, this is the trailer of the documentary. So nice. Ich bin Andreas Plautz, auch bekannt als Smo. Und ich bin Graffiti-Künstler und YouTuber. Um, I will link the trailer at the right top um, corner, so that you can see it full length. And on the same um, YouTube channel from Kluck Cola, there will be the full documentary in about two weeks. So um, it makes sense to check it out. It will be in German, but um, maybe uh, we will we will have a translation or something. There is always this translation tool from YouTube that does a pretty good job. So always, if you see a documentary about something that you're interested in and it is, it, and it is uh, not in your language, uh, please check out the setting from YouTube and they usually provide um, automated subtitles in every language. So check this out just as an... I will make several of these outlines thicker. Advice from me. Later on. What? Um, I got more control with such a fine liner than if I would directly paint it with a thick outline. Ugh. And when one of these outlines gets a little bit wobbly, because I make a movement with my hand that is just impossible, and I still can correct it by making the outline a little bit thicker.
if it's still recording. It is perfect. Like this outline, for example, I just messed it up, and I and when I make it bigger at the end, um, this will disappear. For outlines like that, I would really love to rotate the paper. And I will make this a little bit shorter over here. <laughs> good. Good, 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 good.
And it is so necessary for me to always have this sliding paper underneath my hand because I always get very nervous while painting. <laughs> and I got so sweaty hands that I would smudge all the um, the pencil and all the pen lines. It is not, it's just, it's necessary because otherwise it would look very dirty, terrible and smudged. Smudged or snatched? Snatch, smudge. Smudged. The answer is smudged. I just googled it. <laughs> Thanks to the Google Translator. Boop. <lacht> Meine Fresse! So, gucken wir mal, wie lange haben wir schon? Oh, anderthalb Stunden. One and a half hour already we're sketching at this thing.
Mm, I think this will be a two and a half hour sketch. But quality needs its time. Holy macaroni. This was the most messed up outline I've ever made. <laughs> so, decisions are made. All blocks have to be black. Oh, I will leave this mistake in there and say it's real because, <laughs> because it does not have to be perfect. Sometimes we're putting so much pressure on ourselves to make everything perfect or quote unquote perfect, whatever this means. No, I want to make it in, in a dark gray. I want to have the blocks in dark gray, not in black. Even if this will, will make a lot of more work, but Yeah, for the fill-in, I use old Copic markers that I own for about, I would say, 15 years already. And I just bought these refills and I refilled them so many times because I'm sketching in black and white for so many years. And I always just use um, a Stabilo fine liner, a Stabilo um, a little bit thicker um, Pen. It's called Stabilo Pen 68 and two or three different shades of gray, <laughs> shades of gray, <laughs> some shades of gray. My wife, my wife is sitting at the table right beside me and <laughs> she just pretends not to listen to my voiceover and I say shades of gray and she directly looked over to me and smiled very awkward. Whatever this means, I don't know. Yeah, but but I always use some different shades of gray. Come <laughs> 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 on, behave. Behave. Um what was I saying? Okay, yeah, gray. And I love I love the Copic markers so much because you can fill in big spaces and it is all just one uniform color. It is not getting so much darker or 
having white spots or whatever or it, the, the paper does not get crumply um, because they are based on alcohol and not on um, water and so they don't s destroy the paper that much and I really like I really like them for for fill-ins And I just ordered, after 15 years, I ordered a new pack of grayscales because I want to have new Copic markers. So the next sketch will be made with the new ones. Oh, by the way, the next sketch could be yours. So if you are very inspired now and say, oh, I need a sketch from Smo as well, uh, just go to my website, smonova.de. You can order a sketch over there. I limited it, it to uh, 10 sketches a month because, I don't know, I think there is a risk that too many sketches might destroy my up. Uh, my upload schedule very concentrated not to paint over the line like a three years old in a kid's coloring book don't paint over the line This part is just work. This is why I love to paint with the iPad so much, because if you work properly, you can just you can just pick the color, switch, pick the color, switch. It's all in there within seconds. And if you make a mistake, you can just make the double tap and everything's gone and here you need to work so concentrated because everything that you mess up is messed up. But this makes painting on paper so much faster because you can't go back, try new th stuff, arrange it in a new way, try different things. You have to make decisions and work with it. Yeah, there were still some blocks missing. line missing as well as well oh need the fine side of the copic oh and another tip from me is never never open copic markers or any markers above the paper because sometimes uh, there is a little bit of the ink running out of them and when you open it then suddenly some drops are falling down on the paper and this is terrible it is terrible i hate it i hate this i hate this so much and i just want i just want to uh, protect you 
So please never open a Copic marker or any marker that is filled with a lot of ink above or just close to the to the paper. Open it underneath the table, see if, it, if there are some drips or anything, and then, then just paint. It is like like maybe one second of more work that can save you so much time. Because just recently, <laughs> I, I always make a certificate of authenticity for these sketches. I would show it to you right now. And you won't believe I, I made the mistake that when the sketch, one of the other sketches, was already done and I opened the fountain pen to sign the certificate, some drops of ink were coming out of it and I destroyed one of the final sketches and suddenly two and a half hours or two hours of work were gone and I had to repair it. I was I was just writing something and suddenly I uh, messed this nice cozy sketch up so I will have to paint it again. I will do it quick in a time lapse. Let's start. Yeah, well, that's the luck. So cozy got two different sketches. Um, this one. It is even better than the other one. So I'm pretty happy that I painted it a second time. But back to Mia Purse. I think that voiceover Smo uh, will tell you a little bit. Maybe do a Q&A or something. No, no. Because it's so hard for me to talk and paint at the same time. Ah, okay, Q&A, good idea. No, I won't make a Q&A. I think it's too late to make a Q&A now. I will do it in one of the other videos, in one of the raw videos in the next weeks. Because I still got so many questions underneath the last Q&A and I got a lot of questions left from my last Instagram Q&A. So, um, yeah.
<laughs> wow. This looks so cool. I'm so happy. This really makes me happy. Is the wish inside of myself to um, speed up the next five minutes because I'm just filling in the block in dark gray but as um, a lot of you told me that filling in is the favorite part in raw videos what I can't understand at all I just can't understand it I will leave it in there so now suffer Safa, you want it like that. The next, <laughs> the next three minutes, I will just be quiet and say nothing. And you can see me filling in the blocks in dark gray. Enjoy. Holy macaroni. This is balanced as fuck. Now as I see the dark blocks. I'm so happy.
Okay. I'm back. I had to make a coffee to make it more risky to paint here. <laughs> just for the action. Okay, this already looks pretty beautiful. Mm. But I want some more contrast. And also I want these um, shadows within the fill-in. Where's the lighter? This is, this is the lighter gray. Take this one. This is a beautiful lighter gray. This is good. Like this. Yo, and I wanted to use this chance for a very slow and very chilled thanks a lot to my supporters on Patreon, my healthy gang that is so patient with me, but who always see my videos at least a little bit earlier than everyone else. So they have seen this video a week earlier. Oh no. Uh, I will upload it on Monday and upload it on Saturday on YouTube so they will see it uh, five days earlier. Thanks a lot to my beloved Helpy Gang 
for always supporting me with a few bucks every month so that I can provide great graffiti content for you out there. Thank you. Probably forgot a shadow somewhere, but this is how we do. So and now I make the, the outline at the outside of the piece thicker. This always gives it so much extra uh, beauty extra beauty empty So now the shaky outline over there is gone.
Okay, okay, this already looks super beautiful, but I got the feeling that there's still a little bit of black missing within the letters. So I will make more of the outlines thicker. Or this is so hard, I really can't talk while painting. Okay, I will make this one in, in, in black with the stripes. This is something that I really love on, on paper. I think after that we are done. I think after that we are done. Maybe. You will see. If this will add enough black to be happy.
Oh yes! Oh yes! This is so good. Okay. When I make the whole outline thicker, it will look more beautiful. So, hmm, yeah, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, if you hear now the printing <laughs> in the background, my wife is printing again. But um, I will give you um, a comparison before the thick outlines and after having finally thick outlines. <laughs> Why are you? Why laughs do it so? My wife is laughing about me. I don't know what. What is her problem? Maybe she wants to print even more. Maybe she st will start to vacuum in here. I don't know. And the second she comes into the office with a lawnmower, just to make more noises. <laughs> okay, I will give you a comparison uh, when I'm done with the thicker outlines because 
this really added so much to it. And of course, there were so many chances to already stop and to already say, okay, it is done. It is done. It is enough for the customer. But it, this is one thing that I, I have learned over the years. I never painted for the customers. They always painted for me. If I'm not happy, it is completely useless. It is completely useless. And this is the, this is the problem with the weekly upload <laughs> to come back to my, uh, to my rant of the beginning of this video. I, I think that having to, to stress yourself to finish it and not having the time to get some steps back and um, have a look on it from a further distance and maybe to change something here and there. You have to keep all the tiny mistakes in there that you could have erased when you just had more time to think about everything more. And this is, this is something that really annoys me so much recently. Yeah. Just wanted to say that. Oh, and I add even some effects in the block. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay. So at the end, everything that we do has to please the letter. And if the letter looks more beautiful and it is more work, okay, take the work, do it. You're right, reality Smo. Voice over Smo is on your side. It's not about efficiency. It's about beauty. Beauty needs time and sometimes you need to make some circles all around the decisions that you could have made directly, instantly. Instantly. <laughs> this was funny. Instantly. Yes, the instantly directly thing, I will never learn it. Beautiful, beautiful. Sup. <laughs> ah, look, there is a shadow missing. We found the missing shadow. Woohoo! We found the missing shadow. We found the missing shadow. I see another missing shadow. Oh, look shadow. at this. Now it's so much more beautiful. Please. Ah, I forgot it. Probably I forgot it. I'll check it right now. While my wife is printing so much more. Always doing the printing.
Oh yes, this is beautiful. A mix of thick and thin lines here and there. So... Chiggy Week. Oh, meine Fresse. That's beautiful. That's damn beautiful. That's got damn beautiful. So, a little bit of black here. We need more black. this outline thicker. By the way, I don't, I, I did not say that for you or to be some sort of entertaining. It's my real expression of being happy with the letters. Sometimes I even jump up from the table and just say weird things. Because I'm so happy about the letters. was definitely the right decision to make it all a little bit more black to work with thin and thick lines doesn't need to have thick lines everywhere
but just here and there. But now, as I promised, we want to see the comparison first between the thicker outlines and the thinner outlines. Like, was it really worth to put 12 minutes of Good. extra work in it? So, this is, are the thick outlines, thin outlines. Thick, thin. Yeah, it's so much better. In thick, it's so much better. Mia, purse. I think we're done. Mm, let's erase the vanishing point. Yo, Mia. Hallo. Purse. Purse is pretty hard to tag. Okay, I still need. Good, 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 good. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm very, very, very happy. Yeah. Mia Purse. Okay, I will take you down for some detail shots. Okay, see you in the next video.